Have you ever been told you're allergic to penicillin? It's a popular antibiotic that's been around almost 100 years, but is this allergy less common than people may think? Wake Up Charlotte's Megan Bragg is getting the facts in this morning's Verify Fact Check. Penicillin is a common drug that's used a lot in medicine today. The drug was discovered in 1928 and it is still used to fight infections caused by bacteria like ear infections, skin infections, urinary tract infections, and more. But a significant percentage of patients report that they're allergic to penicillin. But is it a common allergy? To get the facts, we went to Dr. Carla Robinson, family physician, Dr. Rushi Shaw, allergist with the Cleveland Clinic, the CDC, and Yale Medicine. According to Yale Medicine, within an hour of taking penicillin, allergic reactions can occur like rash or hives, tightness in the throat, or difficulty breathing. And there are tests you can take to see if you are actually allergic to this antibiotic. The CDC says in the U.S., 10% of the population reports having an allergic reaction to penicillin. However, when researchers further evaluated patients who reported a penicillin allergy, they found fewer than 1% of the population are actually allergic to penicillin. Antibiotics oftentimes tend to be overprescribed, unfortunately. Um, and in some cases, when you prescribe an antibiotic for a viral infection that actually does not require an antibiotic, sometimes you can get a rash from that. What we know from our um, guidelines and our allergy literature is that greater than 90 to 95 percent of these patients that have a listed allergy, when they come in for evaluation, we find that they can actually tolerate penicillin. Also, according to the CDC, 80 percent of patients with a penicillin allergy lose their sensitivity to the drug after 10 years. That's why Dr. Shaw says it's always good to test. Penicillin is probably one of the most common antibiotics that's used, and it's first line treatment for a lot of different types of infections. Though both doctors say it's rare, it's always good to be on the lookout for any side effects of the medications you are taking and contact your doctor right away if you suspect an adverse reaction. With your Verify Fact Check, I'm Megan Bragg. And if you have something you would like verified, just email us at verify at wcnc.com.